Artem Kalup explained that the main military drone they have is the Bayraktar TB2 made in Turkey. These drones have cameras on board, and can be armed with laser-guided bombs. These drones are used to locate enemy targets and guide artillery fire on them. This drone allows operators to make optimal use of their limited forces. Without drones, the attack could take 20 to 30 minutes. Operator Sergei told colleagues in the first few weeks of the war, Ukraine's Bayraktar drones received widespread praise. This drone showed attacks on targets such as ammunition depots, and played a role in the sinking of the Moskva warship. This DJI Mavic commercial drone has a flight height of 6,000 meters and a flight range of 30 kilometers with a speed of 68.4 kilometers per hour and a wingspan of 28.3 centimeters. Different from the Bayraktar drone which has the ability to be relatively slow, and fly only at medium heights, that makes them easy to shoot down. Commercial drones can be fitted with small bombs. However, they were more often used to spot enemy troops and direct attacks. Although Russian troops also use online systems such as Aeroscope to detect and disrupt communications between commercial drones and their operators. The drone is loaded with explosives. They wander through the air until they find their target. However, this drone can also be used to scout enemies and is more often used to spot enemy troops and direct attacks. Artem said advancing Ukrainian troops have been watching from drones. He also said troops had advanced up to 6.5 kilometers, 4 miles, and captured 90 square kilometer, 35 square miles, of land along a 100 kilometers, 60 mile, stretch of the southern front. Ukrainian forces have also used drones to attack targets far from fighting sites, in Crimea. Drones have become so important to battlefield success that they are sometimes used to destroy other drones. Sarji said the attack, which had not been previously reported, dealt a blow to Russian forces' ability to anticipate incoming Ukrainian attacks and counterattack. The general assessment of drones like the TB2 is that they perform well without advanced air cover and electronic warfare planned against them. Now, Ukraine primarily uses TB2 for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance purposes rather than for attack. About the missile test firing of the Bayraktar TB2, the result of collaboration with Raketsun. Raketsun's MAM and TUBITAK Sage's BOZOK laser guided bombs. The Bayraktar TB2 has a mixed wing body design with an inverted V tail structure. Thrust is generated by a two bladed propeller with variable pitch in a pusher configuration. The monocoque platform is modular with removable key items such as the wings, tail boom and V-tails. The fuselage pieces are mostly made of carbon fiber composite with machined aluminum parts at the joints. Each airborne platform is equipped with a triply redundant avionics system. Its ground control system's cross-redundant architecture allows pilots, payload operators and mission commanders to command, control and monitor the platform. The TB2 has a triple redundant flight control system with autonomous taxi, takeoff, cruise, landing and parking capabilities. Mission specific control is handled through the mission control computer system. The aerial platform is guided via a variety of redundant rotary and linear servo actuators. All major airborne avionics equipment, software and hardware are continuously being developed. The electronic power supply that powers the onboard system is powered by three alternators and a smart, balanced lithium-ion battery unit. A rugged heated camera unit is placed in the tail of the platform to monitor the flight and all payload and telemetry data is logged to the air data recorder. The avionics redundancy architecture supports autonomous emergency landings at different airfields if necessary. Bayraktar TB2 is an advanced and highly capable combat drone. It has gained international recognition for its operational effectiveness and has been successfully used in various military operations. The TB2 is a medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, equipped with advanced systems such as high resolution cameras, thermal sensors and laser guided munitions. With extended flight endurance and real-time intelligence capabilities, the Bayraktar TB2 provides valuable surveillance, reconnaissance and target acquisition support to ground forces.
With extended flight endurance and real-time intelligence capabilities, the Bayraktar TB2 provides valuable surveillance, reconnaissance and target acquisition support to ground forces. Bayraktar TB2 is controlled via a ground control station, GCS, with a NATO ACE 3 standard mobile shelter unit. This module integrates the pilot, payload operator, and exploitation console via video imagery. One Bayraktar TB2 system consists of six drones, two GCS units, three ground data terminals, GDT, two remote video terminals, RVT, units and ground support equipment. Ukrainian forces are using the drone's advanced optics and sensors to guide other drones for attacks while remaining out of range of Russian air and EW systems, he said.